Uh, let's talk about two guys that got to get it going. And one guy I think's really going to get it going that they've been ramping up, and he seems to be a hot-button topic. Jamison Williams, baby. Woo! The Lions Whoa. are going to utilize him. I, I'm predicting he's going to get at least seven targets this game. This is the game that they're going to try to display him to the nation and let let the world know what's going on and where he's at and how far he's progressed. And I think this is a great opportunity to just stomp out the Packers. And you do that by going deep. You do that by taking your shots early. And you do that with the fastest man on the team. So you're saying seven deep shots? Uh, se no, See, seven I targets. Think, I think if you, you're talking seven targets and they're going to try to get them in, it's a lot of the talk about using that speed. So wide receiver screens, jet sweep, you know, listening to different – prognosticators that know a lot about football talking about with his speed he's starting to get the safeties and some of the corners that are over him to back off a little bit yep. which gives him some separation and I, I you know what I don't know stick if that yes I think that to your point his work and practice and the development and the trust and yep. the way that Dan Campbell said he's made it you know the herd has accepted him and stuff like this work his way into the into that um they might have had that game plan last week but the game didn't go as planned it did not right it so if the game goes as planned and we are able to control the game and they're able to work on a few more things i ex i expect him to see a few more targets but i don't think number one is to win the game i think that they don't have the luxury of of just going from game to game without correcting the mistakes and moving on to you know hey let's do this this game it might be in the back of the mind that they can go to there if things are successful. I do think that there will be a couple deep shots. I think that just he's proven with his speed uh, when they get the right look that him and Goff can be on the same page. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised with a you know a, you know another 30, 40 yard touchdown. But I think to your point, the targeting we might see a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, maybe maybe jet sweeps like seven. And seven targets, seven targets that, might be touches because he might get a couple out of the get, Yeah, he may get some runs, but uh, like a like a sweep or something. But the, but, but just yeah, to, I, I look at it like Jameer Gibbs, right? You know, they just kind of kept sprinkling them, sprinkling them, sprinkling them. Then one game, they just let him. But lose. they had to. They didn't. They didn't really have a choice because Montgomery had sort of gone down, and then they, they could go to Craig. Okay, stick. Say that, <laughs> come on, man. Like, Craig. Be, be serious. No, I get it. I love Craig Reynolds, but yeah. no, no, they sort of were forced their hand that he had to step up. Jameis is not there yet. Their their hand ain't forced. I think that they may can, have accelerated it, but they were building up to no, they were Gibbs building being it, and that's, that's and that's where I see Jameis and Williams being at. We we've seen the build up the so, past two or three games. He got three targets last game. I think he got three the game before. So he's gonna. I think they're gonna out target the last two games in one game on Thanksgiving in front of the national audience. And my point being, if Craig Reynolds or Alma Ross A. Brown or somebody was down, you're force-fed just like Gibbs was with Montgomery out. I think that it's progress. I think, but maybe next this week it's five. Then it's six, seven. I think the game... So what's your over-under I think the then? game dictates over-under targets. Over-under targets. Four. In, in the chat, we want to know two. Four. Four? Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking the way over on that. What about uh -huh. you, Spencer? Over-under four targets for Jamison Williams tomorrow. Can I push that? Can I say it's going to be four? Okay, let's go 4.5. Right. That's, that's, that's why it's a good line setter. That right is there. a good line. Um, I'd go under 4.5. I think it'll be right at four targets. Because I do think they're going to get up early and they're going to run the ball a lot. Because... They're going to be mad that they what they did against Chicago. They're going to be mad they turned over the ball a lot. They're going to go out there. They're going to get a, a two-score lead pretty pretty quick, and then they're going to run the ball and force the Packers into submission. All right, JB, what are you taking? Uh, I might have to lean with Spencer on that one with four. I think that – Where's the faith? I think it's just going to – like the Lions are going to be up early, so it's just going to be coming a running game, and you're going to see a lot of gives there. But yeah, but don't you think if the Lions get up early, that's when they're going to start putting on a show for the home crowd and starting to – like they haven't had no. they haven't had a dominant performance in four weeks at least, maybe five, right? Yeah. So it's been a while since they've been able to put their foot on someone's throat. And once they see that opportunity, I think tomorrow, once they get up by 14, 17, 21, they're just going to – Benjamin. Johnson's going to go ape shit and just start having fun. No, I don't think that. Just because it's a short week, and I think he would more than likely like to see his players a little bit healthier going on to the next They get next 10 days game. off! 
I know, but he just wants to, to go on these this off days just healthier. So I think they're gonna play conservative like they kind of have been. So. Ugh, no, man. <laughs> why I, I, why do you think sucks, that, JB? I don't like that. It sucks to say, but it's just like, hey, it's the nature of how they want to keep everyone fresh and healthy. I just think they're going to get up big. You're going to see a lot more running from Gibbs or Monty. And then afterwards, it's like, all right, cool. You know, wait, we won this game. Let's go into the next week. Be as healthy as we can. D-Mac, when you were playing and you'd go through a couple of games where it was stressful, it was it just felt like you were running in mud, it was tough. But then you play a team and you just start rolling. Air it out. You yeah, you don't you don't you don't take your foot off that gas when you start rolling. That's what I'm thinking about. Hey, I'm getting out there on the PP and getting my cookie. Exactly. Right? You know, cookie. We get a grind like and get some cookies tonight. No, you do, but I think task at hand. And I think task at hand first, what's most important, getting back, you know, to execution, technique, stuff like like different things that we sort of got away from. So it, it could dictate. I do think it's a couple, couple shots. But again, here's the thing, Stick. The progression of what we hear from the coaching staff, from fellow players and stuff about how he's progressing each week in practice, and you're, you're right there. With the more confidence they have, the more they're going to use them. So I guess we'll have to just wait and see. So one of the reasons I think this is going to happen is there are targets for him to get. There are targets available. Like I, I, I predict Khalif Raymond may start seeing less targets, which is exactly what happened last Sunday against the Bears. He saw a season-low 20% of the offensive snaps, mm -hmm. while Jamison Williams saw a season-high 68% of the snaps. Yeah. So, like, those are two targets that are available. That takes us to four. That takes us to an extra six right there. And I think they want to include him a little more in the offense. So that's what that's where I'm going with this. Like, I feel like the buildup is here. The wait is over. We, we started to see flashes in the last two games. He had a touchdown call back two weeks ago. He had a touchdown, a game-changing touchdown last week. And you just want to keep that momentum going with this young man. No, that's a, that's exactly what it is. Continue, continuing to build. But that's I think you nailed it right there. The fact that he's taking time away in formations and stuff and being on the field, that's the start. So you nailed it to why you could be right. Yeah, and I hope I'm right. I hope J-Mo just puts on an absolute show for the nation and uh, fills us with all warmness and goodness on Thanksgiving. And if you want to be filled with warmness and goodness, <laughs> pause. Big boy! Gordon, what were you guys thinking?